army is as mighty as they say. Take out the commander and the rest will fall. With that warrior by his side. <sighs> There's nothing more we can do. You? You would abandon me? Well, if it truly bothers you, I suppose you could always surrender. What? Oh, yes. If you are going to surrender, make sure you do it humbly. <laughs> Lord Cao Cao, you would leave in the middle of our party? That's enough. His bodyguard may still be with him, but we can overcome too. for Cao Cao. Dian Wei! But he, he's riddled with arrows. He's inhuman. Fire! No one is getting past me! Go now! Escape while you still can! I will not apologize, but I will make your dream a reality. Don't let him get away. After him! <laughs> My lord, promise me you will make our dream of a new world a reality. Sorry, Shuju. Maybe we'll tend your field together another time. I have proven unworthy. I will not kill you. What? You would show mercy to a man like this? Not mercy. You killed Dian Wei and drove me to the brink. Your talents will serve to bring my rule closer. <laughs> you are a wise man, my lord. No mercy. If I find you are no use to me, you are dead. It is clear what strategy we must use. Place decoys at Bai Ma and Yanjin. Then launch attacks from each unit. He has numbers. But Yuan Shao is indecisive and imperceptive. He is a man of the past. This should be enough to deal with him. However, the problem is those decoys, though. The enemy is so great in number that they'll be simply overrun. Exactly. <laughs> You're a smart man. I can see why our lord values you so. Forgive me. It was not my place to speak out. Then you will have to go yourself, father. So I would be the decoy. <laughs> Quite brilliant, Lord Zaubi. Your father must be proud.
I suppose it is from fatigue, but Lord Tsao seems to have lost his edge. Really? Well, isn't it the job of a strategist to cover for that? Hmm. It is hard for even me when he does too much. You seem tired, my lord. Hmm. If it isn't the splendid my child. Does everyone have to be so keen? Come, you meddling strategist! Face me if you dare! Guan Zhong now belongs to you. Where will you go from here, my lord? The future is unknown. Really? I thought you were a man of vision. I am. I simply realize that things do not always go as planned. Including the fates of Liu Bei, Sun Quan, and indeed, my own. I think you're right. Our lord does seem a little tired. This... this is what you wanted, right? It will do, I suppose. Well then, it's time for us to join the party. Hmm. My lord! Huh. As I expected. Some contrived little ploy. My life is in your hands, Dian Wei. Leave it to me! <coughs> Allow me to ask you one question. Do you die now for your master? Or has your loyalty always been to yourself? your talent for strategy. <laughs> that is quite the loaded question. The latter. I've lived my life for my talent, for my genius. I could have done more, but I have no regrets. Come, I'm ready. Do it. Very well then. Joshu, I ask that you use your talents in my service. Are you <laughs> serious? Without Dian Wei, I would have certainly been dead. It would be a shame <laughs> to waste such intellect. Good. Now wait and be ready to act on my command. Yes, sir. Fall in. Well, what do you make of him? Too soon to say. It takes more than trickery to capture a castle. Not to mention, his tricks killed Dian Wei. Do 
you really want a man like that working for you? Ah, my lord Cao Cao. We are about ready to get started. Strength is remarkable. <laughs> Cao Cao! No! Hmm? Oh. Don't worry. He knows what he's doing. So, Lu Bu was beheaded, and Zhang Liao joined our ranks. Our Lord Cao Cao seeks strength, does he not? I would have thought Lu Bu was the strongest warrior around. No matter how strong someone may be, if they cannot be trusted, they cannot be taken as allies. Ha <laughs> ha! I see. <clears throat> At least we don't have to worry about that with you anymore. I know you're all probably aware, but we're seriously outnumbered here. In other words, a frontal assault simply isn't an option. Spare us what we already know. Tell us your plan. Please, allow me. At the moment, the two crossings at Bai Ma and Yanjin are under the control of Yuan Chao's forces. We start by raiding these locations. If we succeed in taking them, then we will have our bridgehead. Okay. I'm sure the enemy aren't going to just let us take them, though. Quite right. Which is where our diversion comes in. Someone to catch their attention by coming at them head on. Hmm. 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 Oh, in that case, perhaps I may be so bold as to suggest myself for the role. That was almost the perfect victory. <laughs> You've impressed me again, young master. Young master? It's okay. Sorry. I think I've been thinking a little too hard. Uh. Come. The power balance is about to shift dramatically. Let our strategies lift our lord to the summit. That marks the end, finally, of our battle with the Yuan family. Yuan Shao, your children clung most stubbornly to life. It's all over. <laughs> you hey! yourself too hard, Guo Zhang. Someone! A horse! At once! My lord. What? Speak. When we return to camp, we must feast. <laughs> Joshua. What? I have two things to tell you. Yes? First, you have proven yourself. You are the greatest strategist in our entire army. What's brought this on? Praising me isn't going to get you anywhere. And second, take care of our lord. <gasps> hey!
Lord Cao Cao, it's Master Guo Jia. Please, say no more. I know. Farewell, Guo Jia. What's the matter? Something bothering you? I know Guan Yu is back with Liu Bei now, but I'm surprised Cao Ren is struggling against them. You make a good point. Not to mention that he's using the Eight Gates formation this time. Yet still he is pushed back. Even the Eight Gates formation has no effect. <laughs> then the reason is clear. They have found themselves a strategist too. Whoever he is, it looks like he's got our number. Liu Bei has a strategist? Destroying such a beautiful formation. Our foes are truly savages. Sorry I'm late. I need to do better, I know. So, how's it looking? <laughs> this should be an interesting battle. I have no problems with just acting, though. I just can't be like you or Master Yu. Or be like Master Jia Xu. Hey! Hi. Oh, yeah. I hear someone saying my name, and it turns out to be you, Master Shun Wu. It looks like you talk a lot when you drink. Master Jia Xu? <laughs> Sorry for butting in. I guess I can go do my thing somewhere else. Master Joshu, huh? Do you know where Master Guo Jia is? Eh, unfortunately, no. Is that so? He's too ill to be out and about. Just where did he go? Here, I took care of these for you. Hmm. You work too hard, my friend. I guess it's not bad to be stuck at your desk all the time. But don't you want to get out in the field sometimes? Two of the best strategists in all of Wei. We can sneak onto a battlefield and stir up some trouble. Hmm. Well, if you are too busy, I think I will just go by myself. No. <laughs> I was getting bored too. <laughs> this is a surprise. I didn't expect that from you. Payback for the times you did it to me. I am just happy it all worked out. I hear that Zhugo Lian has become Prime Minister of Shu. Hmm. We have the Wei Emperor. A Shu Emperor and Prime Minister. There are too many titles out there. By the way, Master Sima Yi, what is it that you intend to do now? At the very least, I would hope that you don't do anything while Master Cao Pi is alive and well. I have no idea what you're talking about. Master Guo Jia, and especially Master Shun Wu. They were all brilliant, just like you. Wei is now almost exactly how they planned it. But... You're different. You refused official rank, saying you don't deserve it. But I can feel a smoldering ambition from you. You are the same as me. I know that you are also one who does not worry about palace rank. I am just a lowly minister, 
an outsider who is uninvolved with all of that. And that's why there are things that only I am able to see. As long as there are people like you, Cao Wei will be safe. <laughs> this country's strategists are all something, aren't they? 